All right, let me show you a couple of things that might go wrong when you try to use ChatGPT tasks. It's a better feature, so things sometimes get wonky. Also note that if you are a free user, you will currently not have access to tasks as it is in beta and is only available to paid accounts. If you do have a paid account and you haven't been able to get tasks to work, the first thing you wanna check is that you go up here at the top, click on this model picker and select GPT-40 with scheduled tasks. That's the only way you will get tasks to work. Now let's try a task so I can show you another thing that might go wrong when using tasks. Uh, usually ChatGPT is pretty good at establishing the timing. Uh, if you just tell it like, remind me to water my flowers in three minutes from now. So it can count from where it's at, but using precise timing is usually recommended. In this case, it got it right, but I've seen it uh, mess up. So if that happens to you, it's better to write the exact time uh, into your request. And finally, uh, another thing that might go wrong is that whenever you request ChatGPT to schedule a task, it will take your prompt and write its own uh, task for it. So it sometimes might drop important details from your request. Let's say I'm asking it to uh, every Tuesday look up top 10 news headlines, create an overview table, and so on. It will then go ahead and schedule that task. But if you look here, if you click on the schedule task, you'll be able to see exactly what it wrote. In some cases, you'll find that the instructions it saves here are different from the prompt you've typed in. If that is the case, you can actually change them directly here, uh, where I write the word test currently. So those are the three things you want to check when working with tasks. The model picker, uh, the timing of the task, and the instructions that ChatGPT makes. Good luck.